Hi, I'm Pat Carter, technical trainer at Clearview, a clear choice. Today we're going to talk about the iPad app that's available through iTunes. There's also an Android app that's available through Google Play, but we're going to focus specifically today on the, app, on the iPhone, iPad app. So to get to the app, it's very simple. You go to our website, which is clearviewcctv.com. Click under Tools, and you'll see links to the iPhone and iPad app. Under the app, you'll notice there are two different flavors. The first one is for $9.99. It's the full version. That'll give you the ability to do backup uh, as well as playback and also have full control over your cameras. The other version is the light version called Direct. It is $4.99, and it gives you the, avi uh, the ability to view your cameras remotely. Let's go ahead and click on the Direct version, which we've already downloaded from their store. And if I were to just go ahead and open it, you'll see this opens the app. Once I installed the app, it will go ahead and create a shortcut for you on the desktop. That's known as the Clearview icon. So let's go ahead and see how we add a device in. First thing you're going to do is click on the gear icon, which is normally on the top right-hand corner. It's going to bring you right to the configuration screen. From here, you'll see any devices that are already set up or already ready to go. Let me just cancel out of this one real quick. If I want to add a device, I can certainly just click Add, and I'm going to put in some new information. The name is anything you want it to be, so something that will help you to remember which device it is if you have multiple units, multiple recorders on your uh, device. Now, again, the application will allow you to do multiple computers or multiple devices with no problem at all. You'll be able to log into multiple recorders without any problem. So this one I'll go ahead and call uh, Office. The address is going to be either the public IP address, which if you're connecting from the outside is what you're going to need to view it, or the private IP address, which is what you'll use primarily on the inside of the network. So if you're at the house, you're logging in through your local Wi-Fi, for example, you could use a 192 address or perhaps a 10 address. If you're logging in from the outside, you would definitely want to be able to use the public IP address, and that we'll go ahead and use here. I'm just going to go ahead and make one up because uh, we have a demo already preset. So say 66.55.112.45. The port that we're going to use is the TCP port, which has already been configured on your DVR itself. So a very common default port is 3 and 4 sevens. The username and password are also required. Now with this, this is done under the account settings, and we're going to cover in another topic exactly what settings come by default. But you should definitely go ahead and add another user for use on your iPad. Definitely is a good habit to get into. You'll notice when you add that account, there is a check mark that makes it reusable. You definitely want to have a reusable account when you're logging in on your app. So for example, here I'm going to go ahead and use admin. And the password will be admin. Then you can actually put in how many channels you want to use. In this particular unit, we'll use 16. Let me go ahead and save it. And now you'll notice that it's saved under your list of accounts. So let's go back to configuration. To pull up a screen, all you do is click on the little center box, pull up whichever demo you'd like, in fact, or whichever DVR you'd like. In fact, this time I'm going to use a home DVR. I click on the camera, and voila. Now I have the camera available. I can view the camera on my app anywhere in the world. As long as I have connectivity, I'm good to go. Now if I want to do multiple screens, that's very simple. There's a button, the second button down is multiple screen mode. I can go to a six screen, for example, or I can go to a 32 screen if I like, all the way out. If I want to close that camera, not a problem. I hit the button with a little X, and that will close that camera. If I want to reopen it, I can either click the button again, or another neat shortcut is the button that looks like three bars in a row. That will bring up my list. I can click on the device. It'll actually give me a demo of exactly what that camera looks like. I can click on it or just drag it and drop it. And then, of course, when I click my screen, it'll go full screen again. To close that, you just hit the little arrow up top. That'll close it out. A very cool thing with pan, tilt, and zoom cameras, PTZ cameras, is that you can control those right with the iPad as well. So here I am. Let's go ahead and move this camera around. Just by sweeping across the screen, I'm able to move that pan, tilt, zoom camera around. Very cool functionality. If I want to take a snapshot, maybe there's a bad guy out there doing a bad thing, all I do is click on the camera icon, and it just took a snapshot. I save that with my regular photos, and I can go back to that at any time. Again, to close the screen, I hit the little X, and that'll close that window. 
And I've gone to go multiple screens again. Remember, I click on the multiple screen button, and it'll go ahead and pull out multiple windows. If I have audio enabled on a camera, I can certainly hit the microphone to enable audio. I'll be able to hear exactly what's going on on that camera. Just be aware of local legalities, because a lot of places in the world don't allow you to do audio recording. So check your local jurisdiction to make sure that's OK. And that's basically the app in a nutshell. Uh, again, it's available through iTunes. It's available with a link directly from our website. You can certainly use the Android app through Google Play or the iPad or iPhone version through iTunes. I'm Pat Carter with Clearview, home of the seven-year warranty and lifetime support. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.